Lovely cup of chai. I got this temperature controlled mug from the USA. If you want a video on it, let me know because this thing is a game changer. But anyway, today I'm here to talk about the iPad. A few days ago, Apple announced iPad OS 26 at WWDC. I was there. This announcement was towards the end of the presentation. And I honestly feel it was one of the most interesting and important announcements for the iPad. Like there are some massive changes in the way we use the iPad. I think it is going in a direction where some people can just use the iPad as their main computer. And that is incredible. In fact, for the past couple of of months even I have been using only the iPad when I travel. I did make a video about this if you want to watch that I will drop a link to it in the description box below. This use case of mine includes a lot of work including video editing so that is a very interesting video and I think with this new iPad OS 26 update I am going to enjoy using the iPad even more. So without wasting any time let's just dive into the features. All right here we go this is my iPad Air with the M3 chipset running on iOS 26 and the first thing that I want to show you are the new multitasking features. So say I want to open up YouTube, I will just search for YouTube and it opens up in a smaller window. That is because I opened YouTube before this in a smaller window and I can drag this window anywhere on the screen. That is incredible, right? Let's open another application, say Apple Music. Again, Apple Music has been opened up in this smaller window because before this, I opened Apple Music in a smaller window and I can resize these windows as well. However, I want to resize them. I can do that and arrange them. Now I can open up another application, say Safari. Again, Safari is also opened in a smaller window. So in this way, I can have multiple windows just like Mac OS. And that is an incredible feature. Now the controls for these windows are also very similar. So on the top here, there are three controls to close the window, to minimize it or to enter full screen mode. I will minimize Safari and let's say I want to go into full screen YouTube. So I can do that right here. Incredible. Now what if I want to resize this window again? So there is a very handy tool on the bottom right corner. I can use this tool and resize the window again. This works in a very smooth way and Apple has done a great job with it. Now the windows can also snap into tiles. So I can just, you know, take this window and snap it here into a tile. Similarly, I can take this window and snap it here into a tile. I have split screen mode and works really well. I think the implementation of this is awesome and a lot of people are going to use these, you know, multitasking features. I want to quickly show you one more demo. So we'll minimize this app. I'm going to open up Notion. Say I'm writing a script for iPadOS 26 and I want a photo here. So I'll just select this photo and drag and drop it here. Incredible, right? So I think there are a number of possibilities with these new multitasking features. So yeah, that was multitasking. Now let's move on to the files app, which has been revamped, all right? I'm here in the files app. These are my folders. And now I can change the color of these folders. So say I want to change the color of this folder. I will go to customize folder and tags. And here I can go to tags and select any color that I want. Say I want to convert it into orange. So I'll do orange. And maybe I want to add an emoji as well. Say I'll go for a smiley face. All right, done. So now this folder has a color and emoji. In this way, all the folders can be customized. And I think that is a very powerful thing. Also inside the folder, there is a new list view. So if I go to list view, I can add all these things. So I can add date created. I can add the size. I can add tags. And maybe I also want kind. So I can see all this information like it's an MPEG-4 movie, 591.4 MB. And similarly, there is information about all the other files. This is a new view, which is going to be super useful for a lot of people, I feel. And Apple also added the menu bar this time. So if I just, you know, swipe here, I will get a menu bar. So I can go to files, I can go to file, edit, view, go, window, help, exactly like Mac OS. And this is across applications. Like even if I go to say Safari, and I'll enter full screen mode, I will still get the menu bar here. So I can just you know, swipe down a little bit and I'll get file, edit, view, history, bookmarks, window, help. And this is going to be super interesting, I feel. So this is exactly like Mac OS and it's a UI which is very familiar to everyone, I feel. So new multitasking features and new files app. What else is new? Well, for that, again, we'll go to the files app. Say I want to open this photo. Now I will just long press on this photo and I have an option called as open with. 
here I can select two applications that is preview iMovie. This is a photo that's why it can be opened in these two applications and I think more applications will come here. Basically you can choose the application you want to open that file with just like macOS. And you can see that preview app is here which is a new app for iPad as well as for iPhones. So I will select preview and this is exactly again like macOS. You know how preview works there if you use preview. Say I want to convert this photo into a PDF. I will just you know select this file here, export and now I have all these options, a JPEG, a JPEG 2000, PDF, PNG, TIFF, whatever I want. Say I select a PDF and I can also, you know, have more options here. And if I select, say, a JPEG, I can, you know, select the size of the photo as well. Say I want the photo to be very, you know, very efficient. So now it is only 1.3 MB or if I pull it all the way here, it is 22 MB. This is a very handy tool to change the size of the image right in the preview app. Now this is iPad OS 26, which has a new design language that is liquid glass. If I go to the control center, it is liquid glass. If I go to the settings application, the UI has been changed and everything is very glassy and fluid. Let me show that to you in the Apple Music app. And here, just observe the transition. If I go to new radio library and I can, you know, slide it as well. It is so glassy and so smooth. Absolutely love it. Similarly, sliders are also glassy, not at first, but when we change the slider, you can see that everything is glassy. <laughs> oh, I you know, kind of messed up the brightness there. This is nice. All right, so that is iPad OS 26, a quick preview of all the new features that I really liked. These new windows are an absolute game changer. And the fact that they're coming to all iPads is incredible. Now, there is a natural question here. Will the base iPads be able to open a lot of windows or will there be a cap on the number of windows for the base iPads or depending upon the power of the iPad? I think that question will be answered as and when we get more updates, like this is the beta one update, as and when we get more updates, that question will be answered. But still, it's incredible that the iPad mini base iPad iPad Air, iPad Pro, everything can run these windows and basically people can take advantage of the multitasking features. And for people whose work is very light, like opening emails, replying to WhatsApp messages, watching a couple of YouTube videos here and there, for them, the iPad makes a lot of sense now. Now, there are a lot of new features that I did not show you guys, but I want to talk about one feature that is meant for podcasters. Basically, people who do podcasts or conduct interviews on FaceTime or, you know, video calling apps, they can now capture high quality recording of those calls. And similarly, the mic input can also be changed on iPad. So if you want to connect an external mic and you know record high quality audio from that mic, you can do that on the iPad now. So yeah, interesting features and also background tasks. If I'm editing a video on Final Cut Pro and say I export that video, I can jump to any other application and the export will continue in the background just like macOS. I've said that phrase a lot in this video, just like macOS. Let's see if you can count how many times will I say that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, if you want to see a similar video about macOS, then let me know about that in the comment section down below because even macOS has some really interesting features this year. Anyway, that's been it. This was my quick little video about the iPad OS 26. Hit that like button if you like the content, subscribe to the channel because that would mean the world to me. My name is Hush Punjabi and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye bye.